I wanted to uh, show you guys a uh, mod I did on these uh, the ends of these Cobra channels with the plastic ends on them. I'll get a closer look so you can kind of see what I did there. And um, I just took the 40 degree end and um, you know I, I brought it in a little bit and then I squared that edge out just a little bit and and then I took oops, sorry the cords in the way and then I took this end and made a 40 degree on it too but I left the tip uh, squared because you want it to uh, sorry about that to uh, be able to ride against the uh, window frames um, without obstructing anything um, okay, so anyway, that's basically what I did, and just real quick, um, if you're into doing little projects like this, I highly recommend buying one of these. This is a, a higher end one, the Dremel, uh, but you, you can get them for like 30 bucks, uh, 40 bucks with uh, attachments and different tips and stuff. It's a cheap investment, and they, they're, they're really super handy. But anyway. Uh, I'm gonna demo this squeegee for you here in a second but I wanted to talk just a little bit about the physics of uh, squeegee channel and tips uh, this is a liquidator I have here this is a popular uh, uh, Quicksilver co uh, Zor Zorbo mix as well uh, the Polex and the Atori wide bodies and um, I'm very similar to this. Uh, now, I'll just do a little example of what I mean by this. Now, when Mormon designed this channel, they had the foresight. Uh, the reason why these liquidators work as well as they do isn't just because of the way they tapered these ends. Um, it's because of the material it's made out of. Mormon had the sense to know that plastic uh, just rides up better against window frames than metal does and um, it's just and it's not an opinion it's it's physics so like for example this is a metal piece of metal here see and it, it, it's not even wet right and, and then you put here now it wants to drag the piece of metal and you can hear it you know like that right uh, so same thing with wood this table is made out of wood you know just you can't even it just goes glides right over it um, you get the metal on there and, and you can hear it you know it's not gliding over that and then some guys say well I'll just hang the rubbers out of the end okay now you got rubber on rubber let's um, use this here All right see you can hear it rubber on rubber and then when you do plastic on there you can hear it a little bit, but you can feel it. I mean, I, it's just not hanging up on that rubber as much. And these are the three types of frames we come up against. Uh, the metal frames, the frames with the big rubbers in them, and, and the wood. And just from a physics standpoint, plastic, uh, these uh, composite nylon plastics that they make, it, they're just better. Uh, and then even when you get water on them, uh, they work even better. So let me just show you how this thing works. I gotta, I'm doing this all one-handed here. Let me just soap up this window here. Sorry, I got a plant in the way. I hope I got enough soap on there. I'm, I'm purposely jamming this thing into the corners so you can kind of see. And um, I'll take this and you get the squeegee on there. This is the modded one. And uh, some guys, okay, so if you come up like this into the frame and you pull it down, right? I don't know if you could see that or not. There's a tiny bead of, that water is actually on the rubber there. Or when you're coming up and going across like that, see, there's no, there's no detailing on that. And it just, you don't have to point these channels. If you want to do straight pulls, same thing, see? This, you don't have to uh, make these channels into a point, is what I'm saying. You just have to, uh, you want them smooth enough so they're not going to hang up on anything. Now I set the rubbers in just a little bit. Another thing too I wanted to say is that I do storefronts, uh, 
pretty exclusively. Um, I got out of the residential business. I mean, I just don't like dealing with homeowners. But anyway, uh, I might get back into it at some point, but it's just not something I like to do. So most of the, most of the time, setting the rubber in just slightly, not that much, um, just enough so I can get that little piece of uh, nylon to ride up against and, and the squeegee has enough room uh, to land on the glass and that's now some guys don't like these Cobras because um, they are a little bit they're probably the thickest of all the wide bodies you could find out there and I heard some guys complain about well you can't close out really well with them um, I don't find that an issue I could I mean I comparatively to the Quicksilvers um, they these do close out easier but as um, Bob would say from Pults and Blades you know with a little bit of practice um, these things close out just fine and I opt to use these things I, I dare to call them the redheaded stepchilds of uh, <laughs> squeegee channels um, but they just, you know, when I'm moving, I move fast when I clean storefronts and stuff. And sometimes, you know, I'm getting in there and I'm just like, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't purposely try to knock into the frames and stuff. But sometimes when you're moving quickly, you do. And with the metal ends, you know, um, you guys have seen those frames where they paint them. Um, a metal channel will scratch the paint off of the frames. And when the customer sees that, if they're observant enough and they care enough um, they're going to blame you for it and rightly so um, also too you take up more of a chance when you're moving fast and you're doing production work like storefronts you take more of a chance of um, scratching the actual glass because you know when you move quickly sometimes the quicker you move the more you tend to maybe make more mistakes now i'm not always moving at lightning speed but if I'm pressured and I have a lot of stuff to do, uh, then I do. I just move quickly. So anyway, I wanted to explain that, uh, the physics of how these end clips work, these nylon plastic end clips. And these are uh, a little underrated, in my opinion, these Cobra channels. I love them. I use them a lot. And this mod is pretty easy. Like I said, I would invest in a Dremel. Uh, you could do it with a hacksaw, but... With the Dremel, you can kind of smooth them out and, and get them to be uh, look a little more aesthetically pleasing. And um, believe it or not, it's an easy mod, and you don't have to. You could use the existing clips that are in there, and they stay in there nice and solid. Uh, the Ninja channels have the plastic ends on them too, but they're just they're kind of rickety, and they, and they, they too many moving parts on them. They're just problematic. They're not as solid as these. Um, so I prefer this, these Cobras, for the uh, storefront stuff especially. Okay, that's all I got.